This is Jeff Perlman, founder and CEO of Zojo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to sign your Android app. Google requires that Android apps identify the developer who created them. This is done by signing the app with a signing certificate, which is an encrypted file that contains information about the developer. If you only create apps in which you will be the designated developer, you will only need one signing certificate, which you can use with all the apps you create. If you create apps for other organizations in which they will be listed as the developer, you'll need a signing certificate for each one of those organizations. Signing certificates are created with Android Studio. If you haven't installed Android Studio yet, you'll want to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to demonstrate this on a Mac, but the experience would be exactly the same on Windows or Linux. Now you'll need at least one project, so if you don't have one, go ahead and click the New Project button. From here, we can just create a regular phone project, so I'm just going to click Next and click Finish. Next, go to the Build menu and choose Generate Signed Bundle slash APK. So Android App Bundle should already be selected. If it's not, go ahead and select it and click Next. Now here you're going to create a key store file. This is going to store all the certificates that you use to sign your Android apps. So click Create New and you need to decide where it's going to go. You can type a file path in, but I'm going to go ahead and click the folder here so I can use the dialog box. I'm going to put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. You can move it later. Um, that's not important, but since it's going to have encrypted data in it, you know, passwords, things like that, you don't want this included in your version control system. So if you're using a version control system, make sure this is being stored somewhere else. I'm going to call this my keys and it needs to have the JKS file extension. So go ahead and type that in and click save. Now it needs a password. I've got one on my clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And the key alias is to identify the certificate itself. Now, if you're building applications that are going to be published under your name only, then you can go ahead and put your name in here or some other thing that identifies you. If you're building applications for other organizations where they will be uh, the developer of record, you know, they'll be the one uh, whose name is on the app, then you probably want to create a separate key for each one of them and just put in the organization name here to differentiate them. In this case, it's just for me, so I'm going to put my name in and fill in the same password uh, for all the fields. Last but not least, you have a certificate here, uh, the certificate information rather, and you can just fill in your information here. You only actually need to fill in one of these fields, but fill in as many as you'd like. The country code is a two-letter code. Now, when you go ahead and click OK to create the key, or rather the key store, uh, if you have a comma in any of these fields, you're going to get a generic error message that says it can't create the key store file. Uh, so don't use any commas. If you get that error message, you probably have some other character in here, some punctuation character that it doesn't like. Unfortunately, the error message is not very clear. So just strip out any unusual characters and you should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and click Next. Next, you'll, put, you'll uh, choose a build variant, choose release. The debug variant is only used by Zojo when it's debugging. You don't need that. So select release, click create. And that's it. Your key store file is created. So at this point, you're done with Android Studio, so you can go ahead and quit that application. Next, you need to create a key store properties file. Now, this is just a text file that's going to have some information about the key store file that you created in Android Studio, and you're going to provide this to Zojo so that it can sign your application. Now, since this is just a text file, you can create this with any text editor that you want. Now this file needs to be in a specific format. It's a key value pair format. And while your key store file that you created in Android Studio can have all the keys that you use for signing all your apps, this file is specific to a particular key. Now if you only have one key because you build apps that are gonna be published by you, you'll only ever need to create this file one time. So the first uh, parameter here is the password for the key store file. That was that first password I filled in. And so my password is, do you speak bocce? That's a Star Wars joke. The next one is the password for the key itself, for the certificate. And I'm using the same password. Then remember the key alias? Well, that's for the key again itself. It identifies the key. So there's the name of the key. And finally, the name of the file. And this file, it doesn't have to have any particular name. I called mine key store properties. 
but you do need to store this file in the same folder slash directory where you stored your key store file itself. Now, when you created the key store file, it created the mykeys.jks file. It also creates a private underscore key file. You'll need that. And then here's the file that I created in my text editor that I called key store properties. So you'll need all three of these files. So last but not least, you're ready to configure your project so that it can sign the app. And that's really easy to do. I'm going to use the Android Task Manager tutorial project. I'm going to click on Android in the navigator under Build Settings. Go over the inspector, you'll see Key Store Properties. Click on the little dot there so you can use the dialog box. And I'm going to pick that text file I created. I called mine Key Store Properties for convenience. And of course, my My Keys file is there in the same directory or folder. And that private key file is there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select Open to select my text file. And now I should be able to build and it should sign it. So I'm going to click build. It's going to build the application and it should sign it and show it to me when it's done. And there it is. So now I'm ready to upload my app to the Google Play Store. Cool. So that's all there is to it for signing your Android app. Most of you will only have to ever go through the process of creating those files one time. And after that, you can just use them over and over for each of your Android apps. Thanks for watching.